red part of the bar is normal phones, just your average uh, Nokia or what have you phone. And then the blue part represents phones that have full featured browsers. So that would be iPhones, Androids, it actually includes iPod Touch and iPad as well. Um, what you're seeing is that page views overall in just the past 10 months have quadrupled. They've grown 300%. This is something that is, is really happening right now. Um, we're currently at 70 million page views per month in Argentina, which is not a small number of page views. This is a, a very large number of eyeballs that are looking at content, news, weather, sports, games, music, on their mobile phones. One other interesting thing to note about this data is that you'll see that the smartphone segment is growing at about 500% compared to the other phone segment, which is growing at about 200%. It's growing much faster. The reason that this is exciting is because some of the really rich media formats you saw earlier, some of the video stuff, that full screen advertisement that you could touch, that you could interact with, those are only possible on smartphones. And the usage of those phones is growing exponentially, practically. So the ability to reach people with really rich experiences is growing incredibly quickly every day, literally. Uh, just to drive the point home a little bit more, this is a list of the, in our network, the top devices being used in Argentina to browse the mobile internet. And I mentioned that smartphones are growing very, very quickly. This falls in line with that. You can see that the top two devices are the Apple iPhone and the Apple iPod Touch. Um, after that, it's an Android device, the Motorola Droid. These top 10 make up 54% of all of the mobile internet usage in the country. The other 50% is made up by thousands of different phones. Anytime you've seen someone, even, even if someone is just using the standard functionality on their cell phone that says weather or news, that's mobile internet. And you can use that to advertise to just about anybody. Now, specifically with smartphone users, which I mentioned is a really exciting segment because of the rich media you can serve them. This is the number of unique users in, in just our network in Argentina right now. Um, you can see it's growing unbelievably quickly. And that last part, Android kind of looks like it came out of nowhere. In reality, we only started tracking it in June. But nevertheless, it's growing unbelievably quickly. It more than doubled in the past month from about 35,000 unique users to about 72,000 unique users. In total, users of iPhone, iPod, iPad, and Android, we have about 160,000 in Argentina right now. And again, we're not the only network. There are others who have even more. So the reach is real and growing incredibly quickly. So what I wanted to do was share some data um, from our network where uh, I want to tell you about the data first because I think that this helps show the power of mobile advertising and how engaged the audience of mobile advertising is. In order to get some of the data I'm about to show you, what we did was we ran a survey across our network. We literally had advertisements that were shown to people in Argentina only on their cell phones that said, click here and take a survey, tell us about yourself. Within one hour, 416 users had gone to our survey. Within one day, 10,000 users had gone to our survey. And depending on platform, the percentage of people who actually completed the survey was as high as 13%. So what does this say? It says that first of all, you can reach a lot of people in a very short amount of time using mobile advertisement, over advertising. The second thing is 13%. That's an, incredible, that's an incredible conversion rate. Imagine if you were doing lead generation and you had a 13% fill rate on your form. It's just uh, it's unbelievable. So the second thing is the mobile audience is extremely engaged. This is a new medium that people are not completely used to yet. And even just a random ad saying, hey, take a survey, 13% of people who click on it will actually do so for nothing, just for fun, because it's new and engaging. So here's, what, here's the data that we got from that. First of all, we wanted to have better understand what are people doing on their phones? What, when they're having all of these page views, what exactly are they doing? So we just asked, what are you doing? Um, and what we found is that you can, in Argentina, 
reach people on their mobile phones while they're doing literally just about anything. The top categories of content and mobile websites and apps in Argentina are music, games, entertainment, and social networking. After that, news, weather, and sports are a close second. And then after that, you can still find just about anything else. And one point that I want to make about this is that this is what people's usage habits look like across our network. So if you were ju to just look at, for example, the segment of iPod Touch users, you would see that the percentage of people who said games would be something like 95%, because that's what people who buy that device are using it for. If you were to look at just BlackBerry users, the bar for finance is more like 30% than it is 16%, because that demographic that owns Blackberries tends to be more interested in finance and business. So using so things like device targeting, you can reach people doing just about anything pretty accurately. We also looked at the demographics of the people who are using mobile internet in Argentina right now. And the main takeaway of this slide is that basically all demographics are reachable through mobile advertising. This is the, the breakout of age. Again, as with the previous slide, if you were to look at, for example, just the segment of the population that is using iPod Touches or Nintendo DSIs or Sony PSPs, that piece, 18 to 24, would be much, much larger. If you look at the segment using Blackberries or iPhones or Androids, the 25 to 34 and the 35 to 44 are the much larger parts. It's basically even across male and female, and it's a very good distribution across monthly incomes. And then finally, we asked people, are you considering buying any products anytime soon? And if so, what? And just as with before, these are all normal consumers. They're all considering buying something soon. 43% of the network are currently thinking about electronics, which is why actually in Argentina, our top vertical right now is technology. The, the most advertising, mobile advertising in Argentina happening right now is from technology companies. Um, Cell phones, 36% of these people are considering buying a cell phone in the near future. Basically, any product that you're promoting, any brand that you're promoting, you can reach people who are thinking about buying your thing right now. And you do that through a variety of different types of, of targeting. Obviously, you can target by country, but actually within country, you can also target by area. You can serve ads just to Buenos Aires. You can target by manufacturer, which is important if you're going for a certain demographic that is used, like BlackBerry, for example, if you're trying to reach business users. You can target by carrier. Different mobile operators tend to have different demographics of user, which you can exploit for targeting. You can target by channel. Most mobile websites and most iPhone and Android apps are categorized into, into different categories, like sports news and information, social networking, and so on. So you can target people whose interests align with the brand you're promoting. And you can target by device as well. So the last thing I wanted to do then was give some examples of some of the different creatives that best-in-class companies are currently using in mobile, and hopefully get everyone in the room a little bit excited about the potential here. Some of this advertising is just really engaging. Uh, and then I thought I would talk a little bit about some, of re some results that some of these advertisers have seen from the medium as well as give some tips on if you want to get started in mobile advertising, how do you do it? So the very most basic form of mobile ad unit is a simple text ad. And these are generally sold on a CPC basis. These are used by performance advertisers primarily who want to do things like drive a lot of people to a website where they can learn about a promotion or drive people to a website where they will sign up for SMS alerts or for emails Anytime you need to get a lot of people on a mobile website or to an app, that's typically what CPC is used for, just like online. There are image banners, which are typically sold on a CPM basis, which can basically be any kind of image you want. This is typically used by consumer products companies, autos, people who want to have positive brand association through a slightly richer media format and who want to get a lot of reach. That's what this is typically used by. Animated banners are moving up the scale in terms of rich media in mobile right now and can be served across basically any cell phone at all. 
the oldest cell phone in Argentina right now can probably serve a mobile, uh, an animated banner. Uh, moving further up the scale of rich media, um, it's now possible on phones like iPhones, Androids, iPad, and so on, to serve ads that take up almost the entire screen. And we've seen advertisers use formats like this one in many, many, many creative ways. For example, we've seen cell phone manufacturers set it up so that there's a very nice, very sexy image of the phone that they're selling, which you can swipe, turn around, zoom in, zoom out, click on links to learn more about it. You can make this your own. You can make it as interactive and as interesting as you want. Interstitial ads are a new innovation where when you go to turn on a website or you go to turn on an app, an ad will actually play just before the, ads, the app starts. You can always skip it, but people like, mobile, people like movie studios love this because then you can build in really rich functionality. For example, once you've learned a little bit about the movie and seen the trailer, you can find out where it's playing near you. And then finally, there's interactive video ads. Unfortunately, I can't play the video because it tends to crash computers, so you'll have to imagine a really cool video playing there. But one other thing that I can point out uh, which is really interesting about ad units like this are these buttons along the bottom. It's not just that a video plays. It's the advertiser can actually measure how engaged people are with the video by their usage of these buttons. Those buttons can be, cat can be set up to do absolutely anything. But a few examples of what people tend to do are have a button that links to the site of the show or the movie. Have a button that links to the Facebook page of the movie or the show. Uh, 